and welcome to we the doing? show. Uh, so, yeah. Well, I'm glad anyway. to be out of that flea pit anyway. Yeah, yeah. It I, just, is I a couldn't lot stand it. I thought I was gonna, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to upgrade. I just, it's, it's expensive staying here, but fuck it. I couldn't well, stand Well, you're going to spend a bit of money. Yeah, I was saying that. Because what you were saving on, <laughs> on that place, you know what I mean? Just live a little for a bit. I mean, the standard of Totty that I'm going for, this is right up my street. Yeah, that, that that that's a that's a totty place. Is that one? Is that one? Oh that, that, yeah, that's definitely that one. Yeah, yeah. That that. Uh... Uh, hello, totty. What would you like me to play on the piano? <laughs> totty. <laughs> <laughs> a rampant bit of totty. Oh, totty. There were the days. How's it going with the uh, the uh, the lady at? Uh... Uh, at your old place? In, Are you still keeping the old place? She's yeah, still, yeah. No, I finished with her. She's still going to clean up the fucking room. <laughs> Fuck it. Um, let's not go there anywhere. <laughs> let's start with what about the. Um, that was the highest poll we've ever done, as in everybody thinks she'd. Not everybody. It was really high. I think it was eighty-eight percent last time I looked. Um, the po- have you seen the poll? I did the poll last night. Yeah, yeah. And... I've, I've just got a quick glimpse of it, uh, and I saw that. It, yeah, I, it how was. many people have voted? Why you muted? Hey. Or uh... hello. I can't hear you. Uh, I'm not muted. The microphone's working. Uh, That's weird. I can hear you now. All oh, right, it must have just glitched then. Must have just glitched. Oh, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Oi, oi, sausage. Oi, oi, come on, how's it going, you little sausage? Yeah. Oh, did you watch the Ben Fate? A bit of it, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> a little bit of it, did it work? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, now he twang, Good though. He? Oh, he, yeah. he, he's going to take some beats, and I think he's going to be right up there, he's Ben, I think. Mm. His power and his fucking... He, he has that determination. Born well. established. You're not allowed to talk about boxing. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly later. No, one other boxing, because there's a big big boxing event this weekend, isn't there? I'm watching it on. Yeah, there's no show this Saturday, by the way, everybody. But, uh, yeah. yeah, I'm over to... All right, where are you watching it? Downtown, the big city. In the big city, in the smoke, Steve, in the smoke. Yeah, dance smoke. Have you started? No, it's not down. It's Nottingham. It's like a Yorkshire accent. It's Nottingham. Yorkshire accent? It is a bit, yeah. Yelf. You got no. it right, Yelf. It is. Uh, it, it, it's leaning towards Bur- Brummy. The West Midlands, isn't what? it? What? It's leaning towards Midlands. It's in the Midlands. I know it's in the Midlands, but the accent isn't leaning towards the Brummy accent, is it? Capital. It is duck. It is duck. Me, me duck. Me yes, duck. Me duck. And Yolf, all right, Yolf. They call each other, they call it uh, Yolf, all right, Yolf. Uh, oh, yeah, he hasn't switched his phone off again. That's a surprise. Oh, no, I haven't Yeah, no. Uh, it, it's an accent, me and Cal run about it. We we totally get it. If I hear somebody now, I'll go, you're from Nottingham, but I can't yeah. do it. I, I can't I can't get my head around it. It's a tricky accent. Mm. We were talking to some girls downstairs uh, yesterday, and uh, she did the classic. I, I haven't got an accent, Duck. She, she really thought she hasn't got an accent. <laughs> yeah. you know why, did, why did you go, girls? Girl, why did you go like that, girls? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Evening, Dave. How you, Dave? How's it going, pal? So, everyone, so tonight. Steve says, "Do you still do you still say that?" Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, Andy says, oh, "Was Andy. your shirt?" Maybe listen to Down after a good for years top band. They're an ace band of Down. Down are well good. Yeah. So Steve uh, is uh, of the firm belief. Uh, that uh, Courtney fucking what an asshole love uh, had something to do with his death. 
And, uh, well, chap. It's hard because she's a fucking asshole. Do you know what I mean? That's that's the. It's so it, it's so easy to put it on her because she is an asshole. Anyway, let's have you case, Steve. Tell us. Oh, Golden Shorts is here. <laughs> I celebrated four twenty with a porky bum wank. <laughs> I love that's that. Really nice to know. What's four twenty? Oh, it's uh, I went to a 420 event once, it was a big open. I was told you the story when I got thrown off, not thrown off the stage. Well, I got thrown, I didn't get on the stage. Oh, my! It, it was a How 420 ev event. I'd never heard of a 420 event or 420. Anyway, so it, it starts in America somewhere, but it's uh, something to do with smoking cannabis uh, joints, whatever. Yeah. So they started these like events, uh, so it was like a 420 festival. And it was all advertised as uh, the top 10 drummers in the world is playing this event. I thought, oh, fucking hell. Well, that's a bit strange, like, but... So, anyway, it was a really good day. This is on the island. This is on the island in Cambodia, by the way. And this is where the old the full moon parties. And uh, so there was loads of different bands on, like MCs and all that kind of... A bit of acoustic. Just a, a very good vibe, all cheap, but we're having a right good laugh. And it finally gets to the uh, this top ten drummers in the world. Yeah. Now he was half decent, but what he was doing, <laughs> he was playing to techno tracks, and there were drum loops. So and he's playing to a drum track. My that. What the fuck? And I, obviously, I'm pissed by then. And I was with my mate. Oh, and me and my Jake, we, uh, me met Jake, we've been talking about drums and stuff and blah, blah, blah. And he set me off. He said, what would John Bonham do now if he was here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, well. Oh, he'd be paradiddling his grave, Steve. He'd be paradiddling in his grave, wouldn't he? <laughs> so I'm going, fuck it, you played to drum tracks, you cunt. Top ten my ass. I'll have your drum off now. Me versus you, you pretty little... And then next week, so I'm trying to get on stage. Then the the, the Eddies were never trying to pull me off, but I knew everybody like really. Can't go full in, y'all. Anyway, that's my uh, 420 story. Yeah, yeah. That was... <laughs> Let's get Dave, to Dave says Lee Harvey Oswald did it. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, what do you know much about this one? You know, being a bit of a, cons should we say conspiracist? But yeah. What, what do you know about it, Dave? What See, we're the we're is, the <laughs> no. What? Can I just ask a question? Why are you not using your microphone? Well, shit. <laughs> I thought it was to uh, the, the acoustics in your new house that was making it all echoey. <laughs> not echoey, but, but sounds like you're in a big room, which you are. Is that better? I'll just put it away. That's it. Yeah, you just put it out oh, where you suppose. All right. I thought that because they're rotten loud. Oh, <laughs> and now he's froze. I know that. Oh, oh dear. Is what that you just... me? I don't know, but you froze on my screen. Yeah, the, we, you both went. You both went. You we both, both went. went. Where well, you both went? Right then. There you are. Anyway, we're, we're here. Right then. So, back to case in hand. I what well, I probably watched this. It was quite, quite a few years ago. It was that soaked in bleach documentary. Or something before that. No, it's actually something before that when I was watching. When I eventually watched that, I was quite disappointed. Because you know the uh, PI, uh, Tom, yeah. um, Tom Grant? Yeah. So he's the big part of it, why I think she did it or she got something to do with it. Because... He's so convincing as a really honest, straight-up guy. You can hear in the phone calls how he's just not fucking buying it. The whole evidence is very hard. There is no basic evidence where you go, here's the proof, there, I told you she did it. Like a lot of cases, it's very hard to prove. Yeah. But he's the big reason, because I and I've checked him out quite a lot, because I thought, how do, is, he, is there any chance he could be dodgy, or is he doing it for other reasons? But well, he has his he, own website, doesn't he? On, on this case. He's had his own website, yeah, 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 from it. I think he's got a quite a bit sick of it all now. 
but uh, for a good while he was, uh, but he just didn't seem to be that guy to be doing it just to write a book like it, although he did have a book. Well, he bankrupted but, himself, didn't he? But to, to taking the case he, on, he did didn't he? Right, well, yeah. he was, yeah, yeah. He got, he got lost all his office and stuff like that, you know, through right. you know, no breath. I, I could just hear the sincerity in his voice and like, from the very beginning, before even you know, before uh, he was murdered or anything, you can hear him talking with him and everything, and he smells a right um, from the beginning. That's why he started recording everything. Yeah, yeah, because there was stuff that uh, she said. Because the thing I thought was interesting was she hired him, and then five days later. They found Cobain's body, which had yeah. been undiscovered for four days, which basically means that she hired him, and the next day he died. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's that's, that's a right. little bit like, but that could be, you know. And then she had the thing where she made the phone call saying that she didn't know where he was. That That's yeah. why she hired him. And then it turns out she knew exactly <laughs> where he was. There's lots. I mean, this is the thing. There's lots of stuff like that. There's lots of stuff like that. There's very hard. It's very small little bits. But there's one bit where, like, he says to her, he thinks that, what's it called? The guy that, the, that he was looking around the house with. Oh, he yeah. oh he's best mate. He was talking to her. Says, yeah, he's uh, not Craig. Uh, I forgot his shit, name. Yeah, yeah. I don't know where. Anyway, um, he says, I he says to her, I'm pretty sure he knew that Kurt had already killed himself. And she went, Oh gosh, like, fuck you. Just the way oh, she I'm, says, Oh gosh, it's really, do you know, when somebody's lying, they know it already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But the, proper, the thing was, he, he, was, he was also uh, saying that when he went round the house, he never took him to the upstairs bit, did he? Above the garage, yeah, did he? No, no. And he, he reckons that he, he knew that he was there. Well, well, possibly. It's but it's all possibly, he, yeah, that, that's the thing. Yeah. yeah, he thinks he knows already. Not the, not maybe he was involved with it, but he would already knew that he's, he's, he was dead or possibly found him. That's That was the point of it. Yeah, uh, yeah. But it's, I don't know. Because it, I mean, the weird thing is, I mean, her dad, he's, he's a full-on fucking mental. You can't, so you can't go off him. No, no, but it's, it's just... Uh, he, we he know she's a cunt. Yeah, yeah, and he, he says he know, But yeah, he's the one that he says she did it. Mm. That's the thing, and he's putting it out that it's far... Yeah. You know, it's not without... You know, it's, it's totally within the realms of possibility that she did it. It's something that she'd do. You know what yeah. I mean? And, he, and like he says, I, I, I know her... And, and the way the thing is, is, when he talks, you can totally see her in him, how in, yeah. in the way in his actions, like and everything. The thing is, he doesn't know her that well. He, he's hardly been around her that much. Yeah, yeah. It's very, yeah. it's all bitter and twisted to fuck. You know, he's, oh, it he is. can clearly Terrible. see. Yeah, yeah. He's bitter and twisted. And as he, like, how many father, how many fathers, no matter what, even if you think they did it, are going to come up and go on TV and say, yeah, yeah she did no. it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. there's something wrong there straight away. You can't go off that kind of. Did she say, oh. "Oh God" or "Oh God, fuck off"? There's Carlos. I'm not sure. It was definitely real dodgy. Nicole says she gave Kurt a hot shot of heroin. Well, no, they hadn't been. The thing is, they hadn't been together, had they? Because. He was, uh, well, he was in. He was going for a divorce, wasn't he? That, that's the thing, wasn't he? That they, they hadn't been together because yeah. she was supposed to be fucking around, weren't she, with uh, him out of Smashing Pumpkins? What's it called, Billy Corgan? He was as well. She was as well. It, yeah, um, it was pretty obvious. The, it, it, was, it, it was all. It was all. T- t- so. Yeah, because I mean. See, they were only together like three years or something like that. Salvador, uh, Salvador says, nice playboy pad you've got there, Steve. It is. He's, well, he's, he's had to move. Yeah, Salvador, cheers, mate. Yeah, I'll, say, I'll fucking stem students at that other shit all. Fucking wankers. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. 
But uh, uh. yeah, uh, it, but they were because they, they weren't they were only together like three years or something. Was it two years, three years. Or something I don't think like it was that. even th three years. Uh, yeah, yeah. It was rapid. And she pretty much got what she wanted she, because she was told I mean, that she's that kind of person. She absolutely <sighs> is. When you Absolutely. see her right from the beginning, you see her from the beginning with all that, and then when she gets into the Hollywood, she was a groupie everywhere. You know, like, she'd yeah. do anything, wouldn't she? I mean, she must have sucked about 10 mile of fucking dick, wasn't she, to fucking get up to where she were going, like. And oh, Of course it doesn't mean she did it, but is she capable? Absolutely, 100% she's capable. Does it mean she did it? Matt, and there's... El uh, Kui, no, what's it called? El That's Kui. right, yeah, yeah, that yeah. Lunatic. Emu says, Emu yeah. says that, yeah. If, if, I if, totally if believe him. He's a crackpot, but I believe him a lot more than a dad, put it that way. Yeah. It's well, very, it's very... The thing is, is that when, he, when they're speaking, to, sorry, Steve, when, they, when they're speaking to him on the interview, yeah, he says that, and he says, oh, yeah, she offered me 50 grand to kill her, like, and he says, because Alan, and he went like, like and started laughing, yeah, yeah, didn't yeah, he? yeah, yeah. And he started yeah. laughing. He says, "Well, the FBI, I'll, I'll, I'll find him anyway." Like, so, yeah. and that was a genuine slip, that. Yeah. Of so he, it was, that yeah. that did sound like he was telling this truth. You know yeah. what I mean? But uh, but the thing is, again, even though she might have offered to do it, it doesn't mean to say that it it did. You know, that's no, what happened. It, no, no, it doesn't. But it was one week before, and she asked somebody, literally, to. Uh, Kill him and make it look like suicide. But the, yeah, but that's the thing. There's a thing with the suicide, isn't there? Because I was looking at, I haven't looked at it as deeply as you, but I was looking at stuff. And the one thing they were saying was that the big conspiracy was how the gun, how the shotgun was led up, placed yeah. on his, led on his chest. Yeah. And they were saying if you blow your own head off, you're either going to be able to put the shotgun down on your chest. But if you're going to make a, thing look like a suicide you're also not going to put the gun down on the fucking chest are you what do you mean why when he died when they found the body the, the shotgun was on yeah. his chest yeah but so you're trying was... to make it look like suicide you would you wouldn't you wouldn't put a gun no would you why would you leave it on his chest you're making it look like suicide so he sat on that chair blown his head down. off no yeah. they, no no the, no the police report said they used that chair Oh no! Sorry, no, no, no they didn't. Sorry, no, Steve. no they didn't. No, yeah. they didn't. Sorry, I got me the chair. He said they used the chair to block the door, didn't they? But the door. That's a separate used. thing. It, it, yeah, it, no, that's, that's where like, I got confused. Yeah, yeah. That's a typical police thing got mixed up because it was badly done, as usual. The whole thing was badly done. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, hello. And, uh, oh, no, but that point... guy, that guy though. Sorry, L. What's he called? <laughs> yeah, they Pichu found him or, dead not long after that interview, didn't they? Next week, seven Was days after week? that interview, yeah. yeah. I mean, he got he got killed by a train. Yeah, he got decapitated. <laughs> did he get decapitated? Oh, did he? He got decapitated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no way. That that uh, that well uh, that 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 does. That does stink, does that, doesn't it? I didn't realise really? it was a week later. Her ex, James Moreland, was executed by lethal injection in 2000. She seems to have had some interesting times. Oh, she's had many I've never, I've never heard of that, have eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah she sucked away with the money, lad. You're right there, Nicole. Fucking hell. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she's fucking horrendous. Because the bit, the Hollywood really? interview, but it shows it, when she's on the fucking red carpet... And she's all, oh, and she even does the thing. They must teach them how to do it. Do you know when they're doing the Hollywood interview and they listen to the question and they put their head to the side, don't they? Wait, oh. what, they're listening to it like that and she's doing all that and I thought, oh, you've just, she's she's fit that mould now. She fits whatever, and somebody said that about her. She'll fit in. to. Oh, that's right. It was one of her ex-boyfriends. And she'll find out what you're into. And then she'll yeah. fucking act that way, you know what I mean? She finds yeah, out yeah. what you're into and acts that way. So she can just change herself to fit any situation, you know. But, well, uh, she's so an absolutely she... nasty piece of work, but again... Not to the point where her own daughter has nothing to do with you. <laughs> Does she not now, Francis Bean? Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, Francis Bean, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, she didn't. I know, know that she didn't because of all the nonsense, really. Because and another quite big thing is the uh, heroin, the amount of heroin, and I've checked it as well. There's, it's extremely rare. I couldn't even find a case where somebody's took that much heroin, where they suddenly feel suicidal. Say, for, say for example, I'm suicidal, right? I feel, I've had enough. Fuck it, but I'm going to take some heroin. The tech, by the time they took that much heroin, they go, oh, fuck it. Ah, oh, this is quite good, this. I'll last another day. Do you know what I mean? Because it, it's not that drug to, to make you go, like, I'm going to go again. Fuck it. <laughs> it's, a, it's the one that goes, oh, fuck it. And it's like, yeah, it's but I, I, I looked into that about, because... Did you look into suicide on your computer? Yeah. And did you get a warning? Just say, did you get something saying, just call this number and don't kill yourself? Oh no. I did. I was like, hang oh, on right. a minute. I'm not I'm not I'm not <laughs> Yeah. I'm not doing a joke like that. I, I put in like a suicide connection with heroin and it's huge. I think you got 13 You're 14 times, higher times to, more. Th- th- yeah. That you're yeah. gonna commit suicide on to, heroin. But but not on heroin. This this is heroin users are. This is the tricky bit. I uh, do you know what I mean? For example, if you're on heroin, if you're in on heroin, you're in a bad way, aren't you? And so you, yeah, yeah, yeah. you but it's not actually when you're on heroin that I couldn't fully find it, but it's the point of when he's took the heroin, that's the least time you're gonna actually commit suicide. Maybe when you're coming off heroin, you've come down. And then, oh, oh right. then that's when it makes sense to go, fuck it, I've had enough. But when you're in that ultimate big high, you're not in the suicidal uh, thoughts of... Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, it's fact. It, it's not It's not a thing that uh, people do. Right. Right. Yeah, you know, yeah you know I don't... Yeah, no, I, no, I, I do get what you're saying because I was looking into that, that the, the heroin thing, and it was I was looking at that, but he, yeah, he said like, heroin users are 14 times more yeah. than that. But I, I understand what you're saying though, that when you've actually taken it, maybe, yeah, and that's what that's what's happened to him. He took this massive amount of heroin, but he had that uh, thing in Rome just a few the week before, two weeks before, yeah, and that where that he, see, yeah. You know, where he did that there, where he, 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 he you know, the director yeah. tried to take his own life there, didn't he? And then there's bits where, where uh, you know, he, he was, his aunt, his own aunt. Uh, well, I'll get to that bit later on. You carry on yeah. with, with your case, but you know, what you're saying and stuff like that. Cause, uh, it's, I don't know. I don't know the because bullet, he was. The bullet thing as well, I, I, I don't agree with where. Because the saying where he is, he's been he shot himself. The saying it's impossible because the bolt, the cartridge goes to the right hand side, but it's found on the left hand side. But the roll, like he's like he's been shot that way, but when it's been put that way, so it should have been on the other side. I don't totally buy that because you can drop something anywhere and it rolls it everywhere. Bounces. How did that? How did that get there? And plectrums that are the, the worst thing, thing in the world. Whenever you drop <laughs> a plectrum, it's in another frigging room yeah. by the time you find it. <laughs> so I, I don't buy that uh, theory with the cartridge because literally the fact of... So if it bang... It, it bang well, they roll, do, don't they? Yeah, they, they roll, don't yeah, they? It, like, it's, it's not a good argument that I'm buying. Nicole says, the daughter, I think, went to court to be emancipated at 16-year-old. She hates her mother, Courtney. Yeah, yeah. Right. Nicole says, do you play the piano, Steve? I get Steve's point. You do it on a law, not a high. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. do get that. They chase the that's, next high. That's, that's what I meant. Yeah. Yeah, the withdrawal from heroin is ugly and horrible. People do die from heroin withdrawal. Yeah, totally, yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. But I'd uh, actually want to speak to Wayne because of the uh, he'll know about the amount of heroin because you, I've, I've tried to find it, but again, you get lost well, in the, the world. Well, the doctor said on you'll that you find whatever you want. But on that interview, on that documentary, that English guy, what's yeah. called Nick Broomfield, as he called it, that yeah. he did, he was saying that, and he was saying that because he was talking to the cop, but he said he since spoke to a doctor who said you could yeah. totally uh, do something like that on something. Yeah, there's a fact there were a picture of somebody standing on one leg. Um, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, with, yeah. With the same amount. Yeah. So it's tolerance, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, uh, definitely. And again, it's another one of them things that just because you read that and said, no, oh, that's impossible, I think, I don't think that's true either. Uh, no, no, that, that's the thing. I mean, it's another one of those because it's like any other situation where the, the cops did a, a crappy job on it, you know, like the JFK yeah, thing as well. Absolute botch yeah, botch job. Yeah, yeah, because wasn't there, there were no prints on the gun, were there or something? Is that right? There was no prints. Uh, some said he had a glove on, but he didn't have, because you can see his picture on his, his right hand. Yeah. The picture you yeah. see of his dead body. He went his lead on floor. His right yeah, hand. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and there isn't, you could recognise his face as well, because it was a real low gauge shotgun, almost like one for scurrying people. But if you put it in your fucking mouth or really close, then that can, that will, that will happen. But it's a, it was a real low gauge shotgun. Well, it was most like, that... a, like a warning shotgun. Well, that Chris Nuss, what's he called, the bass player? Chris Nuss, what's his name? Chris Nuss. Yeah, Nuss. Yeah, yeah. The bass player, anyway. He, he was really good mate. So them two started together before they got Dave yeah. Rowling. And uh, he was saying how, uh, it, it doesn't really make any sense, really. But it's something that it's somebody, I looked into and more people have said, that he didn't like to make a mess, he said. And he was he would have been, he, he said yeah. he was always a planner. And he said he wouldn't yeah, have liked to make yeah, a mess. Yeah. And they said apparently a lot of suicides with guns. They think about that, uh, about what, how bad it'll look. Yeah. One guy put a, he he put the gun to his head, but he put a big rake of bricks behind his head, so that it didn't splat all over the room everywhere. It's kind of weird things like that that yeah. people would do, you know, because obviously I think she to... did as well. Uh, I forgot her name, not Polly Star, uh, the American punk girl. Uh... Anyway, she she put a bag over her head and to stop any or all that. All right, yeah. Isn't it weird yeah, that out there? Yeah. On, on the withdrawal from heroin, people do commit suicide because they can't get another hit. Yeah, that's what Steve's saying. Yeah. How do? Yeah. Uh, yes, boy. Oh, how's it going? Uh, yes, yeah. boy. Oh, what do you think of my new gaff? Yes, boy. Oh, don't mind me, James. And you prick. <laughs> Dave says if he wanted. Uh, to commit suicide, he could have just taken a bit more heroin. The shotgun he used was very long. Yes, it was. The gun was very long. But, I mean, I don't think he knew too much about guns, or did he? I think he just... I, well, the thing was, uh, no, the, the people, there were people not. there were people breaking into his house, weren't there? And, and he said, we're fans. He, he figured they were fans. Well, that's well, what he said he wanted the gun for. This like, a low gauge. Him. Yeah, to... Yeah. Uh... He said he didn't want to, like, shoot anybody or kill anybody. He just wanted to scare them off. But, uh, yeah, it's... It's just funny you do the two things, the heroin and the... That, that just makes it iffy. But well, what about the naught? Well, the naught's iffy, isn't it? I've tried, I tried to get a picture of that. Um, the way it's all changed and it's very scatty. Yeah, but uh, I mean, how long? When when was that written? Though was it written at the time? Was he was he writing it while he was on the smack? And there's the other note that was the few days before that, uh, with the babysitter put there. That was very dodgy as well. What's it's that? like she'd been. There's another note that was put the. Um, I mean, the babysitter put the the second time the PI came into the house. Courtney Love told us, oh, just check, just check again, because I think the gun might be in such a place. And he's gone in like two days after, and he's found a note on the stairs saying, oh, Kurt, yo, you've been back, and I don't believe you can do this to Courtney. She's she's trying, to, it's, it's almost like Courtney's told her to put this note. Yeah. And for him to come and find this and <laughs> all if his shit. Well... Yeah, it's very... I've got the note here. Hold on. I've got the... the let me pull it up. It's, it's quite hard to read. Can you put it on it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, but it, I, I don't think I'll be able to actually... Uh... I know. It's, so they seem to think that the last, I think, four lines have been added on. Added on. Wait, wait, well, they do look intensely different, don't they? Yeah. yeah. Uh, but it does look like, you know, a proper add-on. But... It, like, it looks like something I'd write. I've yeah. Had... <laughs> That's like you know, I mean, there's lots of things here. They've been scribbled out, everything all over the show, haven't they? 
But also, that's that name, isn't it? That Bud too. Uh, yeah, it's his imaginary Bodak. friend. That's his imaginary friend. That, it, that he, she, his auntie yeah. recorded that. He might have seen that when he was two years yeah, old. That's right, yeah, right. Yeah, that. Yeah, it's mad, isn't it? That. Yeah, because she's really ace as his auntie and everything. She's proper ace. Yeah. And it, but you look how that. It, that letter looks pre-planned, and then that looks well. Yeah, it looks added it's, on. It does look added on. I mean, I don't know. It's bad to say though, because I mean, you're. In, I mean, don't forget when you committed when you're in the stage of suicide, you're not exactly yeah, you're thinking be... straight. No. You know, I mean. Uh, yeah. He's either high or it could be in a lot of pain. Or, or well, he's obviously mentally if he does if he has done it, he's clearly mentally uh, unstable. Yeah, but well, that's whatever he says here. Uh, where are we? Uh, when he had a house in Washington State, he had a low caliber two two for the wild bunnies and squirrels. Was he what are you really hunting? Yeah. Was he that kind of person who would hunt animals? I, I think a little, uh, not massively, but he definitely did things like that. All right, I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't sure he'd be that kind of person. Found someone who shot themselves with a sawn off in a Range Rover when I was a teenager. Blood everywhere. Proper head uh, and messy as yeah, well. He will be, won't he? Bloody hell. No wonder you're mental, Carl. That must have had a really effect Jesus on you. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Is that your house, really? Go and play the piano. Boy, oh, we can't go off playing the piano right now, can we? Jesus Christ. I'm not doing it bit... now. I'll do, I'll do it at the end of the show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, and he said stay there. Look, he said stay. He called you stay. Yeah. Oh, stay now. It's not a good Stay now, now isn't it? Yeah. Now that he's found out what kind of a place you live in, it's Is stay that... now. <laughs> Totty, could you just check the, the piano's in key? The after, after. Totty. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I've got a new girlfriend called Totty. <laughs> now, so the thing that really does bug me is Dave Grohl, Chris, and his his best mate uh, and his auntie, and they all say, "Why did they not believe it?" Yeah, they. So I've I, got I, the. I, I, I've got, uh, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Yeah, so this is. Uh, um, could anything or anyone have saved Kurt? Or was he just doomed? He should have never done that. He should have never done that, what he did. You know, he, he never. Well, it no, doesn't mean anything. No, does it? I'm just. That's what he said. Go, go on. And uh, I think he was out of his mind on heroin. I remember seeing him those last days, and he was just, he was loaded. And so he made, he wasn't thinking clearly when he did that. Wait, wait. And after Rome, he tried to kill himself in Rome. Mm -hmm. And I think he was kind of, he was really weird after that. Like, and uh, he's quiet and just kind of, you know, he should have never done that, but he did it. And then this is what Dave Grohl said. Um, was it all good with Kurt? I mean, were you were, were you on things good terms? got weird towards the end? Uh, yeah. I mean, everybody sort of was. I think at that point, it, it had sort of split off, and it just got really weird. It was, I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, I don't know if anybody really does, but it. I can only play fifteen second clips. That's why you're a bit edited. I have to, so I don't get done with it, you know. But <laughs> it was. These are the and they were all saying and on that on, on uh, the interviews are they were a bit longer. He was saying it got weird, and Dave Grohl said it got he kind of everything got too much because Kurt really didn't like all the fame and the fortune inside. He really didn't like that. He wrote a letter to Dave Grohl saying uh, maybe all the fame will die down soon and we'll get to the level of the Pixies or uh, what's yeah. the other band. Uh, and uh, and then you know, and then he said maybe we we, are, we can call ourselves uh, Grohl Novezovich, whatever he's called, and the, the the bad communicator, which is the letter he wrote to Dave Grohl. And then he said to him, "I'm really sorry, yeah. I've been distant. Uh, you were uh, he put, put really weirdly put he put you were a lethal part. You, he called him his brother, 
and he said you were a lethal part of the band. You know, your your, your thing to the band was le- he put lethal. The Melvins. No, no, it was the other. No, it was. Uh, what they call Sonic Youth? That's what it was. Yeah. Oh. That was the band. Well, what about this for a, a weird connection as well? As shame, Taylor Hawkins just died as well. I know. Uh, yeah. But, Sat right next to him there. Yeah. What about Gail Lord? Do you see what she put or they put in the uh, comment? Uh, yeah, go on. What uh, what was it? Barry. Oh, Barry Titler. <laughs> so there's a connection here. <laughs> the both failed drummers. <laughs> Did you know Kurt Cobain was a drummer first? Was he? Yeah, yeah, he started off with like drums. Oh, because he was doing the drums, and she said, Why don't you use the drum machine? He said, No, no, I want it yeah, to be right, a yeah. young kid yes. then. Yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> Clueless twunt on the internet. So there's a connection <laughs> there, in there, in failed drummers. So there could be a. Dave Mundy says, I think I knew the guy in the Range Rover. I worked for him, if it's the same guy. How spooky would that that be if Carlos and Dave... Are you from the same place or same area-ish? I don't know. Dave Mundy. Middleton. Middleton, Middleton, it happened years back. All right. Uh, John, John's here. John, what's up, Mr. First Hour? What about... uh, Courtney Love, John, did uh, Courtney Love have something to do with Kurt Cobain's death? Was it a suicide or... Uh... Because there was also... Uh, uh, what's she called? Uh, she used to, they were saying that the, the nannies, they had the nannies on, didn't they, in that lot? And she used to really yeah. get to him. Like, really, like, badger him. And then when he'd get all pissed off, oh, what are you going to do, kill yourself? And all that kind of stuff. Which, you know, she's one of them. Oh, fucking right, she is. I mean, and because you see, he left that message to that horrible person, that girl that was going to write the book, that English girl that was writing the book, and, and she sent loads of uh, voicemails, didn't she? Courtney Love. There was an English girl writing a book on him. Uh, she yeah, was over in America. She, yeah, yeah, and she was she was saying that you you write that book, I'll finish you. You'll have so many problems like this. And then Kurt Cobain left a message saying, "I'll uh, pay somebody to kill you." And that's what he said. He yeah. actually left that message, you know, as well. So it was all yeah. very, everything was very messed up. And it's like on them clips that I played there. Chris, these two band members there, Dave and Chris, they both said he was really weirded out. Everything got really weird. And also Dave yeah. Grohl said the thing was as well at the end, it got to those that take drugs and those that don't take drugs. And he said, I stopped taking the drugs uh, when I was about 20 and stuff like that. So I never did all that. And he says, and if you didn't take that grubs, then you weren't part of this scene that they were in. And it was that old mm. kind of thing where an artist gets into a scene, like Freddie Mercury got into that scene, didn't he? You know, when he went off to Germany and all that and cocked everything up for a good while, you know. And yeah. they all get into that bad, you know, that bad situation. But I don't think he was really, he wasn't one for like posses and stuff, you know, like being big groups though, was he? I don't think Kurt Cobain was. Yeah, Love was in Liverpool in the, Elsies, in the 80s selling LSD. She was a she stripper was a... in Alaska. <laughs> she was. She was a stripper in Alaska too. How are you going to ask her? <laughs> Devon used to sleep on the floor of John Osborne's flat in Seattle. John Osborne of the Melvins. Oh, well, yeah, they were all... Uh... Um... Both of them were and are F in the head. <laughs> Yeah, well, she wanted to. She was fascinated by what she called, weren't she? Vicious and Nancy, weren't she? Yeah, all that. Yeah, she was. She was probably uh, like that's how she that's how she saw, you know. Then, but that's the thing, though, Steve. That that's the thing that it's them people that are close. I mean, even his best mate, who isn't the best, because he looks well dodgy in that interview because he's best mate. Yeah, but he did say that, don't you think? If I if I thought she'd done it. You know, I'd kill a like and everything, but I really don't buy anything that he says to teach. I know, I, I no, I don't, I don't. He's very no. vague, isn't he? When he's when he's answering the questions on the interview, yeah. isn't he? He's really, and it's not like how, you know, imagine me and you type thing in that same situation. Yeah. There'd be a lot more. I mean, he's a smackhead. You know, I mean, there's he, I mean, he's clearly, he's always been troubled in. Uh... He's always had shit going on. He's generally he's a proper nice guy, though, and he more you you looked into him. He was just 
a real Ooh. sweet kind of soul, Kurt Cobain. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And he genuinely didn't want all the limelight. He wanted to write songs and just and do gigs and stuff, but he just didn't yeah. want all that full on. He genuinely didn't. A lot no, of people no. say it, and you could tell well, he's yeah. got the, the. And when it did happen, it's like, oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, well, the uh, what's he called? The uh, they used to have big rows him and Courtney about uh, she bought a big Lexus and wanted a big mansion. He's yeah. like, no, he, he made a tech there. He said, there's no way I'm driving, I'm being seen in a Lexus. Yeah. You know what I mean? She wanted all that and rich it, lifestyle and everything, and I he think, didn't want I think he, he rung up his accountant and says, uh, I've just bought this, whatever it was, fancy car. He says, can I afford it? He says, yeah, of course you can afford it. He says, well, just, do you need it? He went, well, no. I went, well... So do, do you want to or do you need this guy? Went, no. <laughs> Get rid of it. He was saying, like, before, like, he used to love going to second hand shops. That's so that's, right. He says, I love, like, going in and finding these little bargains and all little the buzz treasures. of, like, that. Like, yeah. yeah. So he's now just walking with a thousand pounds and buying anything. It's, yeah. So I, I, I want to go back to is, them days. Yeah. Which is really, this is a really good thing that he said that. That was ace that when he said that. Because, yeah, like you say, when you, you know, you haven't got hardly any money. You find something it's like, whoa. Because, yeah. you know, it's, it's it's something great that you can afford because you haven't got any money. But it, all that will be, become pointless, I want to show you, if you've got, like, shitloads of money, you know. It's, yeah. Uh, yeah. This is why it's no good to be rich and no good to be born into money. You've got to strive for the money. You've got to Yeah, being born, yeah, being born into money. You've got to work and go for it. And when you get it, you appreciate it. If you can just have something like that, all the fun's gone. I wouldn't say no to a lottery win. Would you not? Would you? Would you say no to a lottery uh, win? No, I no. I wouldn't say no. I don't strive for it. I don't particularly want it. I, I never do the lottery. That's proof in itself. And I don't. I never yeah. do things to strive to get money. Because yeah, I've, yeah, yeah. I've no clear want for it. I'd be but, ace me as a millionaire. Would, I'd be well if done. somebody said he's a million, would have said no. Of course I'd have a go at it. Yeah. But, um, but I won't. I won't do it. I'd have a go at it, but I won't be confident that it'd be good for me. Or I, I, buy some new hair. Kill tools there. Stay and watch your eyes. Right, Stay out, yeah. Kill tools, how you doing, pal? Clueless twunt says, uh, "Love and Pinkett Smith, are right pair of holes." Yeah, well, they are. There's so much, isn't it? It's quite bizarre, actually, isn't it? Coming up after all that incident, yeah. it's another one. Because, oh, yeah, she was a Nancy Sponge and wannabe. She had great choice of men. Oh, well. She was, she was absolutely. Well, she was just a celebrity whore, wasn't she? That's all she was, wasn't she? A fame whore, you know. And she, and still is. I mean, Jesus Christ! Did Cobain have life insurance, and who did it go to? Well, she owns all the rights of, of his. Uh, of his she estate. got the fucking lot. She got the lot because the guy uh, who was doing the documentary, which is a good documentary. That uh, what's he called? That documentary he's called Bo- Boomfield, something like Boomfield. Yeah, Nick Bloomfield. I remember, I remember yeah. watching it. Yeah, I watched it years ago. That it was only about he, four years after it happened. Well, he couldn't even play. Do you know what his mm. auntie had? Where she was playing the song, he yeah. couldn't even play that because Courtney Cox had put a block on it. You know, and uh, she was just, uh, and then the app. Right, that, was a pro- that was a problem as well. When they have to play like, all the other people's music that are injured, you know, like he's Kurt Cobain's best mate. So he had to play, he obviously yeah. made him play the bit of his shit song, didn't they? Oh, this is his song, like, and everything. <laughs> oh, he was like, what, really? Bollocks, in the next life, I'm going to be born rich, lucky, and dangerously handsome. Yes, but <laughs> I'm not. Entirely happy with everything that's gone for me, clueless. You know what I mean? I mean, I have all those, I qualify in every one of them. Well, I'm not that's rich, true, yeah. Oh, I'm not lucky. That, I am. Lucky. That's why I look, I look at you, I just think, cunt. <laughs> <laughs> I always have done. <laughs> cunt in the box. You're I, right, cunt. I've always thought you were right. You're sat on your throne throw now, man. You says, me. <laughs> <laughs> What a hypocritical <laughs> prick I am, you know, living like this. Uh, Nico, uh, what's that? Sorry, uh, where, where are we? I went, can't get a reply now, I've just got Chinese. <laughs> All right, whatever well, tickles your pickle. Uh, oh, Dean's here. Oh, no, Dean. I bet Dean thinks uh, Courtney did it, definitely. <laughs> it's a strange one, Dave says, because if he was high on drugs, 
and you wanted to kill him, you could just give him a bit more heroin. Job done. Yeah, that's a good point. That is a it good is. point. Isn't yeah, it? it is. It is definitely. Yeah, yeah. It's not all. It's yeah, why? Up. Why go out of the way? Hey, that's a really good point. That isn't it. If you're going to kill him and make it look like suicide, the easiest way is, especially if he's if you're with him and he's on heroin, because it's I know this morning. well. Pretty sure it happened to a friend of mine. Uh, I say a loose friend of mine. Who was actually going to murder him at one point? <laughs> 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 you were good there, him. I tell you offline. <laughs> oh, I'm joking, dear. of course. Of course he's joking. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh, dear. You, can't even, you can't even blame that on alcohol. <laughs> no. Yeah, but it is a good point, though. Like you say, they could... Uh, you know, like say when he's already smacked out of his head, just there, right? There you go. Alien, aliens in the house. Aliens here. I think if they were oh, friends with oh, alien, alien. Well, alien. Thanks a lot for subbing to the uh, channel thing. Do you know? Oh what? yeah, completely so he, forgot. Completely yeah. forgot we put it up. It was for the boat thing that. Um, I will say, if you want to take it off, or maybe we should take it off. I don't know. I mean, we do. I pay for the stream yard. It's twenty five quid a week. We don't need any money or want any money, to, to be honest. Um, but I really appreciate you uh, putting, uh, well, trying to help us out, basically. So No, I do nice appreciate that appreciate helping us out. Yeah, yeah, it is really good. And that's maybe what he's doing. He's contributing to the show. Yeah. You know, it's, it's very, thank you very much, Ellie. We totally uh, no, we appreciate, appreciate that. that. Really, he's really uh, nice aliens that. contributed on Patreon, isn't he? We've got a Patreon. Because I didn't realise we had. <laughs> Patreon? It's not Patreon. Patreon, Patreon. <laughs> oh, Steve, Steve, you're so patronising, Steve. <laughs> Patronising. Oh. You're supposed to say, well, actually, Warren, it's patronising. Oh, sorry, I know, I tried to. Yeah, it's a good job. Actually, actually, actually Warren, it's patronising. <laughs> uh, yeah. well, anyway, yeah, thank you, Elaine. Yeah, uh, yeah, where you are could, we going? yeah, you could have given him a bad batch. Yeah, definitely. That's a, that's a really yeah, good Dean point. Yeah, Dean says that, she it? did it. Kill two says it's she was a crazy cow. She is a crazy cow. Mm. It's almost almost like the say if you was gonna knock a building down and blame it on terrorists, you just blow it up. You wouldn't put planes and get the real go for that complicated scenario of putting a plane into the exact points where. The explosion. It's, it's that, that kind of thing, isn't it? So, That's similar, a total right? point, that, isn't it? That is not a yeah. point, that, with all your 9-11. Why, why did they just blow the building up and say it were terrorists? Not enough. <laughs> not enough. Yeah. Not what, enough. Knocking, we need, we need what, planes knocking the Twin Towers down? The, yeah, the yeah. biggest iconic building. You, we just knock them, blow them down. Nah. He's like, nah. a miles better idea. What? We're going to get a plane. No, I'm going to get two planes. Two planes? Two? Yeah. Two, two is not enough, Steve. When you get one to skim off one into the other and then blow <laughs> the fucking things up. What we need, right, is to get more people involved. That's what we need. We yeah, need even yeah. more people involved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we yeah. go. Here, Here we go. go. <laughs> Alien says, love We're the show. Well worth it. Alien says, love the shows. Well worth a few quid. Thank you very much, Alien. Totally appreciate no, that. Excuse me, I appreciate yeah. Yeah, we do appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, where are we? Uh, what's um, going on? Oh, we yeah. Don't, we're definitely going to have to do the 9 11 one, aren't we? Even yeah, Building yeah. 7. What about Building? What happened to Building 7? Did the play not fly? Anyway, we'll do that on the show. Uh, C U N T, constantly underrated knob tees. <laughs> underrated? Oh, what's he called? Steve Coogan had a big bash at it, didn't he? What in what way? Shagging her. Yeah. Oh, he was a dirty she bugger in, weren't he? All right, dirty bugger, yeah, yeah. No, he, he yeah. didn't he do a red in? She went mental after even more mental after that, I think. He basically locked her in know. a bloody in a, a big bloody suite, didn't he? And then uh, just went what? mental over all the weekend. To Claire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did it we did it with the uh, with the yogurt uh, <laughs> yogurt. I thought it was a dirty oh, no. protest. <laughs> do, you know, off, uh, do you remember that off uh, what's it called Alan Partridge 
when she uh-huh. when she goes down, she puts yeah. When he's doing Alan Partridge and they have that party and she gets that that woman with him and he comes back to the hotel and it all goes dark and he's <laughs> Would you mind if I talk about uh, some very boring subject? Keeps the wolf from the door. And then it, then it, the lights are all off, and he goes, Ugh, what are you doing? What are you doing? And she, she's all covered in chocolate mousse. And she would, she'd be pulling it on his knob like that. And he says, I thought it was some kind of dirty protest. <laughs> it's very good, Dan. I, I reckon I could really watch the whole lot of all that stuff. Yeah, it is. It is. That, well, that's the best one in the car park, isn't it? Alan! 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 <laughs> when he's shouting at him, Alan! I don't think he's heard me. <laughs> when he's shouting at him, it's just a close-up on his face. Alan! <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny. When uh, he goes into that, that house, is that stalker's house. There's lots of... Oh! Yeah. <laughs> when he runs away, anyway, he calls you a mentalist, doesn't he? Yeah, <laughs> you're mentalist. Yeah, mentalist. <laughs> and the car, the, the car breaks down. <laughs> We'll get uh, to building seven, Dave. Yeah, we'll get to that. Uh, Dane says Not... it's two planes, three buildings, and walls. <laughs> <laughs> Some women when... have minge demons, according to Clueless Twunt. No, should we, when should we do the 9 11 then, after all this time? Next Wednesday, while we're on the. I yeah. Don't want to be the... I don't want to be that debunking thing you like. It's not but being it a debunker. You'd say what you think on it. It's not being a debunker. You actually say what you think, don't you? Yeah, and then it's yeah. up to everybody else to give us concrete evidence. Yeah. <laughs> Building seven. How could it fall down? But uh, the planes, the planes were just the igniter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no like way. A, like a flint. <laughs> yeah. How, how are we going to set these charges off? Uh, is there, <laughs> Imagine what? one of the terrorists said, you know what, I have I watched this any second now. <laughs> You're not allowed to smoke in here. Fuck off. Just get, <laughs> watch, this for, watch this for a light. I'm all right, pal. <laughs> do you reckon for a just, do you reckon for a joke before they flew into the building, they put the no smoking sign up, flashing the <laughs> 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 Bing, are you taking the piss? Yes, we are, actually. <laughs> Alan Akbar. Who is Alan Akbar? <laughs> <laughs> they always shout Alan Akbar before they die, don't they? I don't know who he is. I'll have to Google that and find it out. Does somebody anybody know who Alan Akbar is? I think Muslims love him. I don't know who he is, but they're really into him. Uh, <laughs> 9-11, pure showbiz. <laughs> there is no business. <laughs> they wanted right. to build another park. Next, we're well, next Wednesday then uh, nine eleven. Eh? Have you got have naked maids at House Egg? <laughs> when she killed Cobain, her passport fell out on the floor. <laughs> she definitely did. It. Yeah, they always find passports, though. That's they? one of my. That's one of the really dodgy ones, isn't it? And and I'm going to be looking into that this week. The dodgy passport with the uh, oh, we just found that really always it happened. In there's France definitely, well, dodgy, there's yeah. definitely dodgy things happened. Definitely. We are not purely on the no, no, uh, it is so weird how the everybody how, when how they're dodgy. doing but whenever when anybody's doing a terrorist thing, you've got your guns, you've got your guns, yeah, you've got your bombs, yeah, you've got your passport, oh, passport, nearly forgot my passport. <laughs> <laughs> You know, well, on the, the, the to do list, you know. <laughs> we all need passports to get on the plane, to be fair. Yeah, but not the terrorists yeah. in France. They did the same yeah. thing. <laughs> well, Salvador says, Was Mark Chapman a CIA agent who was sent out by Ronald Reagan to kill Lenin because of his peace campaign and influence on the youth? There's, de- there's definitely things on Mark Chapman in there. I've read a uh, book years ago on Mark Chapman. All right. I think all- yeah, he, he's from Hawaii, and uh, he was up. It was a uh, anyway. That's another run in itself, isn't it? The Mark Chapman one. Back, uh, Alan Akbar Bejarma. All <laughs> right. Is he, is he posh? Is he a rich bloke? Is he famous? Is he a celebrity? What's the pajama? I feel like I'm being a bit thick. 
Major <laughs> Alan Akbar, but you are, I don't know. But uh, anyway, we, have, we we seem to have moved on to nine eleven. Yeah, have we come to any? Con- so, what's your final conclusion yeah. then, on said? Uh, well, it's predictable. I, I I don't know. My gut feeling is she was involved with it. Um, I just don't. I don't. The connection with the PI. I just. I have a lot of faith in him and I have zero faith in her. And all the inconsistencies, the little bits and bats, because it's, it's it's absolutely not proven one way or the other. But what about the way that Dave Grohl and uh, Christie's band members say, yeah. and he's, the people who are really well, close and knew him say, like... It doesn't mean they know it's their opinion. Yeah, I know, but how, how, how he was acting before... There is no proof... There is no absolute no, no, proof. no, no. There's, there's no, no proof. But I mean, he was acting very weirdly. He was totally strung out on drugs yeah. before on smack. You know, I'm not, I'm not saying that he couldn't do it. It's, it. it seems quite a likely thing that he could do. Yeah. I'm just going off that PI the way he thought. What's going on here? This, she's up to something there, and he's such a straight up guy. It's, it's him that convinces me. Yeah, well, she was always up to something, wasn't she? Everything she was oh, definitely, yeah. she was definitely into him for the money. There's no to it. Well, for a guy that didn't know anything about him, or he didn't even know who Kurt Cobain was, he's a, he was an older guy at the time. Blah blah blah. He's just, and he's done loads of cases like this. He just smelt a rat. He didn't know her. And why have the police Adam. not looked into it? The police are fucking rubbish, aren't they? Yeah, no, well, this but is I no, mean... Right, no, there's another reason, because she... I, you, you've, we've seen how much she's got control, and she's she got that much money. I was shutting people down. How did she do that, that? Fucking money. I know, but she's not, like, you know, like, that unbelievably rich, is she, that she has that power? She's got multi-millions. Yeah, I know, but that's not like, you know, like, to take on, like, the likes well, of... Uh, right, just going off that documentary, she shut loads of shit down... It's yeah, not she just did. The no, no, she did. That yeah, she she's did. clearly done that. That's absolute fact. That that what she she can shut people down and yeah, yeah. yeah. So what well, what do you think? If you had to put your money on it now, go on. I, I, th- I, th- I think it was suicide, just because of the way I know, and I know it's it it does look sus. But it's the Dave Grohl and the Chris and that. The and close the friends died, yeah. The, uh, it's the close friends that yeah. said he did it. You they're know probably, I mean? they probably, well, they definitely know him and the situation way more yeah. than Netflix documentaries, put it that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because and that, that puts me off. That puts me off. The, the Netflix is so well done and it's like... Um, the story has to be that to sell it. Yeah, yeah, of course. It if it yeah, turns well, out, oh, no, he actually commits suicide at the end, it just wouldn't sell. Yeah, yeah, that's totally true, yeah. That, that's like everything, isn't it? That's, like, that's why yeah. Dean loves all the conspiracies, because they're so magical and, and brilliant and wonderful. No, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, see, I've, see, I've catched myself. Well, not really. But that's what I said. When I first watched that Soaked in Bleach documentary, I was quite disappointed. I thought, oh, they really have gone down there. Dun, dun, yeah. dun. Oh, why, why can't they just fucking keep it more documentary style? But no, it's all drama, drama. And yeah. That automatically makes me want to then not believe it. That's why so I don't I'm watch trying to them. ignore I, that. Yeah. I, this I don't is watch my point like of my gut instinct is I believe him. And I don't believe her. But the Nick Bloomfield one's really good, isn't it? Because he's he's he he really does ask the questions as well, doesn't he? He does. He gets stuck in because <laughs> well, he, he wants both he sides. To, you know? yeah. Well, he does. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. You know, he, he, he when he was asking, yeah. He, that... At the end of the day, he thought that it was suicide as well. You know. Yeah, yeah. It's just because of that. But she, she, she's so easy to hate, which is you know she is. She's definitely dodgy. She's a money-grabbing prick. I think she did say to that guy, "I'll give you, I'll pay you fifty grand to kill him." Yeah. I do think she said that. Very mysterious how he died a week later, and I, you know all that. All that I think happened. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But at the end of the day, he was a mess at the end, and all all his right. close friends and bandmates said that. You know, if 
you were single was would and she if you were on the having a few beers round Harwood and she turns up, would you still shag her? Depends how bagged up I were, I suppose, really, isn't it? No, on an average bag bagism. I bet you do really good shag. No, I definitely shag her. <laughs> <laughs> she might kill you as well. <laughs> It's all that thing you're going on, isn't it? Uh, what's it called? The Sharon Stone stuff, like you know, like, that was part of her king, wasn't it? In the oh. with Michael Douglas, oh, basically, yeah, yeah, it was yeah. a thrill of all. Oh, are they going to kill me? It's not going to kill me. Well, then she, yeah, I'll fucking kill you. you dick, yeah. <laughs> no, she was a femme fatale. Look at me, a femme fatale. Oh. Look, <laughs> well, the best possible, take oh, I mean, oh, no. <laughs> Cross me nuts then, that really didn't hurt. That wasn't a good idea then at all. <laughs> Got my granddad nuts there, they were a bit splayed out. <laughs> and I'm gonna lost a bit on chat here. Uh where are we up to? So Building Seven was nowhere near the Twin Towers. Yes, it was, Carlos. You could see the It was build... next. <laughs> Who did the Pentagon and the plane that went down in the field? Alan Akbar did. did it. Who, who, well, do you know when the Twin Towers? So, well, it was all, it was the same terrorist organization, wasn't it? You know, that, <laughs> next Wednesday, I'm coming for you. Was by the time I finished, he ain't never going to believe a word. Was says he doesn't believe a word. I, I say don't anyway. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's probably good oh to be spend all time arguing. <laughs> Gordon Bennett's the mate, best mate is Alan. You want to see us in real life and when we're pissed off. <laughs> Fuck you now. <laughs> yeah, that does get... Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we used to get... Uh, like, oh, well, we were pissed. We were, we were writing songs back in band, whatever. Fucking... Oh, you God. Called us, yeah, remember his fucking shout and blew it. Yeah, yeah. Well, people used to get really confused, didn't we, when we were in pub and stuff like that. And we'd be proper, like, having a, a good old row, like, yeah. and everything. They used to think, what's going on here? Is that... No, <laughs> this is just how we talk. <laughs> Do you remember that time with me, you were in Arnie, <laughs> and we had to tell each other that this was up. Alan Akbar's in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> how, how can people do that? <laughs> All the rumours are true. I knew it. <laughs> How's it going, Humble? <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, uh, Jesus is here. Hello, Jesus. Jesus should know everything. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, who did it? Uh, the, yeah, Jesus Christ, did she do it or not? Why don't we just start this with just ask Jesus whether she did it or not? Jesus, yeah, but you can't believe lie. Jesus because his mum's well dodgy, isn't he? Yeah, well, back, never had start, sex. Alan Akbar and Jesus start, start arguing about all the religious shit. We're not here, we're not gonna, no, we're not having it. <laughs> You've got two sides of opinions, um, and that's it. <laughs> I Did think Jesus Gilbert... call it Christianity? Huh? Did Jesus call it Christianity? No. <laughs> I'm guessing. I'm guessing. Well, yeah, because I don't know. He was too busy doing all his magic name. tricks. Wasn't he? He's just Darren, Darren Brown, isn't he? That's all he is. Daily Blade. Shazam. Shazam. <laughs> was his second name Christ? That's a good point. <laughs> Because it's like Jesus and Christ, aren't they? The Christ, the Saviour, is born, and Jesus. So they just call him Jesus and Christ, just in case you weren't sure what it were. Because his last name yeah. was... Uh, was What was it, Jesus' it was last just name? just a carpenter. I don't, he didn't have, he didn't have, you didn't have second names back then. Jesus, did, did you have Jesus a second name Jesus wasn't a carpenter. Then? Jesus wasn't a carpenter. Son of a carpenter. Son of a carpenter, wasn't he? You son of a carpenter! All joiners are weird anyway. <laughs> I think Gilbert Gottfried was responsible for 9-11 because he's dead and can't sue. Who's Gilbert Gottfried? I know that name. It'd be a Jew, won't it? <laughs> Alan, that boy works in the 7-Eleven around the corner. Does he now? Alan! <laughs> Jesus of Nazareth. Yeah, not the group. Then, well, I thought so. He's in the carpenters, and then he went to Nazareth. This flight tonight, he's Scottish as well, isn't he? Yeah, as well as well as who? 
Uh, I've seen somebody from Scotland say something. <laughs> Hot shot. She went for the money. I think she had a part in it in the lease. At the least, yeah. At well, the point, she yeah. might have had so much to do with, you know, like him being suicidal, perhaps. I don't know. I don't know. It's... Well, let's go for it in the chat. One, she did it or was a part of it. Or two, suicide. After wrong. all we've discussed and all our wise words of wisdom. So it's one, for she so... did it, and B, that it was suicide. And we'll sit Be? here and wait. Yeah, you should always do that. It's always really funny. When you do that, you should go, right, one. And then you go like that. And then you go, B. And then you go like that. And it really freaks people out all right, sure. It freaked me out. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> We've got all ones. They're all ones. They're all ones. They're not, they're not all ones. Clueless twunts they put are. one on about 15 times. <laughs> no. One will dry yeah. out number two. No, Carlos has. Carlos yeah, Carlos has. Dave has. I can't see yeah. Carlos. Yeah, they've all gone for it. There's nobody on a number two. And nobody gone for a B. <laughs> <laughs> Humble Drake says, fuck knows what I'm pressing, but one sounds good. <laughs> Jesus is the modern word for the son of God. He truly was the son. It's not Jesus, though, is it? It's Jesus, isn't it, from Mexico, isn't it? Yeah, so. Uh, hang on. Go on, Jesus is a meaning of Nazareth. Yisha was Hebrew for Lord. All oh, right. How do you know all this, humble? Massive dispute co incoming. <laughs> Alan Akbar says. I'm well chuffed that we've got Alan Akbar on our side now. So we've got What's Jesus. What's that picture so of Alan Akbar? It's a bloke with a beard. It's not a uh, rubber dingy rapids, is it? <laughs> Rubber dingy rapids. Rubber dingy rapids. What's that? Do you know rubber dingy rapids? I, I always take the piss out of Ian. It's the um, <laughs> three lions, the uh, the Yorkshire, uh, the one who joined the Islamic thingy, whatever it fucking is. And one of them's a white guy with beard, looks like Ian. <laughs> Four lions, sorry. <laughs> and it's not. What is it, Alan? It's, it really is you, Alan, is it? What, you really? I hope you change your name to Akbar then. That, it, how cool was it? I if anybody, somebody must have done that. Somebody <laughs> called Alan must have changed the last name to Akbar. That'd be proper funny, that. <laughs> She's as guilty as a puppy sitting next to a pile of poo, says Clueless Twunt. <laughs> Anyone else go around yeah. sniffing bicycle seats before stealing them, says God. <laughs> no. What, you just steal the seat? Why don't you take the bike? Just take the bike. I mean, you stood there like... <laughs> take it, say it Yeah, good job. <laughs> Ian is related to Jihadi John. All right. Have we got a Jihadi John? Could do we a Jihadi, Jihadi John? John's the... Um, I think they got him, weren't they? Was he from Liverpool or some connect connection? I think he was British. That's why he was like the John Lennon. I could be completely wrong here. I'm sure something to do with John Lennon. Who's Jihadi John? Uh, I'm just explaining who he is. John he's a Lennon. terrorist. Oh. He's a terrorist. I think he was a British, possibly Scouse, Islamic, Pakistani. And so they called him Jihadi John for it as a John Lennon. Oh, right, right, right. I think. Well, no, they probably called him John because it's, it's Jihad, isn't it? As in, like, Billy Basham and all that kind of stuff, you know what I mean? That's me when I'm when I'm drunk. Scottish version of Chucky. <laughs> That's me when I'm drunk. The Scottish version of Chucky. Who's Chucky? Chucky the doll. Was that Chucky? No, Chucky was the uh, doubly chocker doobie, wasn't he? Catch it up. Ginger Jihad John is dead. He got killed in action. What a yeah. Shame. <laughs> <laughs> Alan Ackboy, what have you got in your fridge? <laughs> All right, then let's have a new new part of the show called What's Alan Got in His Fridge? <laughs> what have you got in your fridge, Alan? I bet he hasn't got any ham. And I bet he hasn't got any bacon. <laughs> have you got bacon and ham? Oh, 
Guess what he's, he's got, got in the fridge? He's got a bomb. <laughs> Right then, so there's no show on Saturday because it's uh, fight night. No, yeah. Should we have a boxing talk before we uh, shoot? Yeah, yeah. Quite topical, that wasn't it? Yeah. So, the conclusion was she fucking did it. Well, I don't think she did. Uh, well, overall in the chat, there's nobody uh, on your side, was. What a surprise. What a surprise. <laughs> was is wrong? Uh, right, it's your opinion, but we're all... I know. We all, dis we all, all disagree with was again. all their opinion. No, I'm just going off. The reliable yeah, sources yeah. is You're what going, going off going Google. On. No. You're going, going off me. Google. As per we're us, we've got... We've had look, we've searched here, there, and everywhere and got the truth. You're drinking again on a Wednesday night. Why are you drinking on a Wednesday night? Because it was fucking boiling today. It's really nice. So when you have some... Le and you're on white feature as well. You'll be kicking crap no. out of Totty after for not cleaning under the piano. Bear. <laughs> Bear. <laughs> Bear. <laughs> pew, 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 shoot your load. I don't remember that in uh, Camelwick Green. Of course she did, it says Dean. Dean knows all about it. Of course she did it, he says. Of course she did it. Remember the good old days when you could be held by the Sandinistas? Sandy Remember the good old days when you could be held by the Sandinistas? What's a Sandinista? What does that mean? Ah, that's a joke in there, isn't it? There's got to be a joke in the Sandinistas. Remember the good old days when you could be held by the Sandinistas? All right, Clueless, what's a Sandinista? <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look. Let me just give a quick goggle to Sandy Nister. Sandy, Sandy, Sandy. Spam in Asia, Scotland. What? I'm not sure. No, it's, it's, it's a, it's a, a Sandy Nister revolution as well. It's Sandy revolution. It sounds like a, a clash song. Who led the Sandy Nister revolution? The Sandy Nister National Liberation Front. Women in Revolution in Nicaragua. <laughs> really? Let's have a look. Let's just go back again. Because I kicked on Revolution. Let's just see what a Sandinista is. It's a socialist party in Nicaragua. Its members are called Sandinistas. So there you go. What? Sandinista is the fourth studio album by English punk rock band The Clash. You oh, should God. know that. I just said that. Uh, it, yeah, I, said it's like, I just said it's like a song by The Clash. Is somebody taking the piss? No, it's <laughs> no, not Sandy Nister. The fourth Is album it? by The Clash. It just, I just read it out then. What, in the chat? No, off Goggle. All right. Sandy Nister is the fourth album by from, uh, uh, from, from The Clash. Two white blokes being head in Ireland. Do you have any relations that know about this, Alan? Nothing on MSM. Mainstream really? media. Hey, I know that now. <laughs> Oops, I'm 18 for a change. I'm 18 for a change. <laughs> what are you doing, Betty Clint? Oops, I'm 18 for a change. I'm 1-8. I'm 1-8. Late! Is that late? Late. L late. Yeah. Ah, I thought you eight. still put your 18. <laughs> See, I, I mean, how long, how much longer would it take to type in two extra f symbols? You type in 18. <laughs> oh, are you going to do is go L A and T E at the end? Isn't it? <laughs> That's a lot more fun. Is it fun? Spell with the P H. Fun, Steve. You're going to spell that fun with the P H, eh? Because it's funny. I don't fucking know what that. <laughs> Out your hand. In the 1980s, there was loads of news coverage about South American revolutionaries called the Sandinistas. But it sounds like a word for bollocks to me. It does actually, doesn't it? It sounds like when you're on a beach. Do you know when you've got a ah. beach and you've got flappy shorts on? That's how you get Sandinistas. That's the one. That's totally how you do it. Duck, Duck, Go is owned by a fellow called Mr. Wiseman. More bulletins is the right, best just put, just put Andy Lomax's comment here, please. Oh, not excited about the box, and I think Fury is stepping down a few levels. AJ too scared to make it happen. 
Well, he's going to beat him, isn't he? You know, it's... Because has he come back now? What's he called? Uh, he won. Ukrainian bloke. What's he called? I forgot his name. No, it's all the war stuff going on. I don't know. I, don't I know. So. I talked to Josh today. He said he'd come back for 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 a training. All right. Because he's got to fight AJ all again, right. hasn't he? In in the clause that he has to fight Joshua again. No. I thought. There was oh a yeah. Clause that... yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. He's See, close, yeah. I'm not allowed to talk about box. You didn't even know that. I thought you were about. I thought you were about Fury. No, no, because yeah, it's just. Uh, it doesn't, I don't understand why he's fighting Dylan White. Why Dylan White's got the fight? Why has he got the fight, Sting? Why is Dylan what? White? Are you taking the piss now? Or what? No. You winding me up? No. Right, I'm gonna play this fucking piano. He's been a mandatory challenger for fucking ages. All through lots of bullshit and fucking this and that. It's, it's all been avoided and whatever. He's been, he's, he's like notorious for being a mandatory longest challenger ever. He's, uh... Right, you're doing the freeze thing, boss, but we can hear you in the background. No, I know on. he's bloody yeah. neat spoil yeah. that. We've watched it all. I was doing that. She started watching it. I thought, oh, yeah, yeah. no. Yeah. <laughs> No, he's got a hell of a good chance. It's going to be a cracking scrap. Uh, Dylan White's pretty fucking good. Really oh, anything can happen, it. can't it? How it can happen? It's Not just anything that can happen. All these ridiculous thought. They were on about it's, it's seven to one or nine to one or something like that. Really? Yeah, that's what I was saying to you. Was put, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. Uh, put the odds on Dylan White uh, stopping him. Well, you want to get he the odds on early, won't you? Because everyone will start doing that. Highly he'll unlikely he, he'll beat him by points, but he could definitely stop him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, definitely stop him. Yeah. I'm looking forward to watching. I'm going to have a good day, actually, we are. It's going to be a good crack. So, writing a new <laughs> theme tune on Saturday, folks. Go and know what time is. Oh, so, yeah. so, we'll have a new theme tune. I'm going to go for a big, dirty bass. <laughs> yeah, it was last game. Box around the ring. It says Keith <laughs> Roddy. <laughs> Okay, that's a good yeah. bet, Clint. That Clint, that's a good bet. Uh, Fury getting uh, or get the KO, of course, yeah. <laughs> but I think, I think, uh, for a good bet, uh, Dylan White stopping him, but he looks really well, uh, Fury. He's, he sounds like he's got a good camp and all that, shit. yeah, yeah. But overall, that, um. He, I, he just looks like it's a really good matchup. You never know. It could are be a dull fucking fight. Are there any conspiracy theories about musical youth? They were always passing drugs around on the left hand side. There Dennis, are, there come back with me, Apple Pie. <laughs> remember that one? A Persian nation. I can't remember what he said. What did he say? I chaffed me Sandy, Sandy Neasters while sunbathing. This nation. Lose a nation. With degradation. the on the left hand side. I think um I think the main singer died uh of drugs. Well, all the tall thin one. The specky one. I'm not I'm not I'm not sure. I can't i I'm sure of uh one of them started drugs. Was Love's hit Farbox tongue punch? <laughs> <laughs> was was Love's hit Farbox tongue punch? I can't even say that. Can you say that? Was <laughs> Love's hit Farbox tongue punching? Hit Farbox? I'm not sure what that means. I think that's supposed to be shit Farbox. <laughs> <laughs> If Steve plays his green screen, green screen piano, I will donate one hundred pound for beers. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! Well, he might just do that. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Uh, wait a minute. Go on over. Play it. Ready? Go on. Start playing. There you go, get the beers in. Yeah. Ready? <laughs> right, guess the song. Ready? 
you froze. You haven't plugged in, have you? Yeah. You haven't. <laughs> Is he plugged in at the other... You're not plugged in now, are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, where how, are we? how do we know it's not your side? Uh, Jimmy Clitheroe and little Jimmy Cramkey would have been a good fight. Okay. Jimmy Clitheroe? <laughs> Jimmy Clitheroe from Clitheroe. Uh, he's a little... Um... He's getting it, he's getting it. Um, <laughs> Clitheroe Castle, Jimmy Clitheroe's, were a comedian from... Oh, that would have been a well good fight. Yeah, the yeah. little one. The Clitheroe kid, that would have been a top fight, that. That would have been a great good fight, that. I reckon she's a bit heavier, though, is uh, Jimmy Cranky. Uh, Jesus' real name was Mithra, and he was a pagan. Wasn't Mithra one of the God, the Godzilla uh, monsters? I'm sure it was. No, Dave, his real name was Matthew, and he was from Wigan. <laughs> <laughs> Marcus Caballero, a boxing trainer, cleans our pool, and he's going for All white. Right. All right. And he's going, well, they can all go for whatever. <laughs> Carlos says, Fook off. <laughs> Why are you playing no, it? Didn't, didn't get it again. Uh, <laughs> what I'm trying to play was. Go on, let, let's, uh, let's uh, play it again. Let's listen. <laughs> oh, that's do, do, do. Do, do, do. Oh, it's the beginning Red of the dude. Love. Eh? Red I love. Do, no. do, 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 do. See, your timing, shit, your timing were all on. I went to Bobby McFerrin thing. Oh, dear. Jimmy O versus Woz would be a cracker of a fight with more publicity than Fury's shower of shite. Me versus Jimmy O, that wouldn't be a fight. That would be annihilation. <laughs> I'd just say, I don't believe you. And he, he just <laughs> got, <laughs> he just got mental, wasn't he? Uh, yeah, it would be just, yeah, Jimmy, I don't believe you. Ah! Was this a prick? Was this a prick? Is it a prick and he drives a grab? Was this a tosser? Was this a tosser? Is it a prick and he drives a grab? Boing, 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 You can't disagree with me. <laughs> <laughs> That's how that would end up. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Um, I bet you can't play the start of Head Over Heels by Tears for Fears. Something bad down and head over heels. Um I'm just a little tinkle. Is it C or D? Right, listen. Listen to this, right? Listen. What yeah. song, when I switch this box on, right, it's a, it's a Bluetooth sound. Take your hand off the fake piano. Right. I'm playing the fake piano. I it's not fake. Shut up. I can't oh. play that music over there. Oh. This is just what we have. Right. Okay. What song, when I turn this on, it sounds like a song. And I want you to tell me which song it is. Ready? Okay. All right, Tears and Fears. Tears and Fears. Everybody wants to rule the world. Yeah, yeah, it does, isn't it? It's insane, does it? Oh, turn. Right, ready? Listen, listen. Have you got any? Have you got any uh, things <laughs> that play uh, songs? 
The holes in your string vest by the bonzos. <laughs> I don't know if that's that. one. You've got me by the hollies. I haven't. Well, you got him by the holly. I wouldn't. Well, <laughs> you got me by. Believe it or not, I had to bring one of my geese and her babies in the front room because it's pissing down and they get cold and die. Geese. Where are you, Dean? Is this in Spain, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Does he have a place in Spain where it, the rain falls mainly on the geese? That's not right, is it? Believe it or not, I've had to bring one of my geese and her babies in the front room because it's pissing down and they get cold and die. What? I thought they were like geese go on water. So you're doing it wrong. Geese. Think you're doing it wrong there. She's just shit up the wall, so I've got to go and clear up. <laughs> I hope you're talking about the geese. Good night, Dean. See you later. <laughs> Steve, seven C's are I. You can't hear from me. I haven't got, I haven't got the mic over near the piano, so... Uh... <laughs> Oh, that boy says someone just robbed my geese. <clears throat> Bill Gates or Klaus Anal Schwab song, ain't it? Bill Gates or Klaus okay. Anal Schwab song, ain't it? Right, everyone guys, oh, everyone wants to rule the world. Everybody wants to rule the world. Good night, everybody. Next Wednesday, it's coming. The 9 11. Next Wednesday. There's no, no show on Saturday, but next Wednesday. So, Dean, now we want facts. <laughs> Dave, you're welcome to come on. Anyone's welcome to come on. You're all welcome to come on as well. Yeah, have a good. Let's have a good. Let's have a heated yeah. debate because yeah. you know how me and Steve feel about it, and we're going to be bringing the big guns out for this one. Oh yeah. <sighs> let's really so, get the uh, bring up, bring your evidence, and let's just go through the evidence. And we want your evidence. <laughs> you know what I mean. So I mean, if you if you want. Send me emails to the Steve and Watch Show at uh, gmail.com. Send videos over and I'll play them for you if you want to show me videos and stuff like that. Right, it's... I don't want to start slagging people off or other channels, but I was watching Raconteurs last night and he had uh, the guy that the moon landings and all that thing. And I, was like, Fuck. I tried watching, I tried listening to it, but the guy said, Fucking fruitcake, <laughs> right? Uh, <laughs> So we'll see you. <laughs> so it's a heated master debate, as Clueless says, on next Wednesday. No show on Saturday because of the fights, yeah. and I'm uh, recording a new theme tune, hopefully. 9-11. So, yeah, so 9-11. So bring your big guns in, people, because we're here for the truth. We want nothing but the truth. We want the truth and the tooth. Uh, with... Ray, I've got an idea. Should we actually start it at... 9 11. No, we'll start at 8 o'clock. Right, next Wednesday. See you later, everybody. Shite.